Hey everyone, it's Tyler, the Antenna Man. The goal of my YouTube channel and Antenna Recommendation Service is to provide information on some of the best antennas out there. A proper antenna setup for your area will bring you the best reception and most channels possible. But even with the best antenna, did you know that there are some TVs that will pick up more channels than others? In this video, I'll reveal some of the best TV sets to use with an antenna. If you're a cord cutter or use an antenna, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to receive a notification whenever I post a new video. If my videos helped you cut the cord with an antenna, you can show your support by clicking the thanks button in this video. This is a new feature YouTube just released. Something unknown to most people is that different TV sets have different tuner sensitivity. Just like radios, some TVs will pick up more channels better than others even when connected to the same exact antenna and the same exact coaxial cable. I discovered this back when I used to install antennas locally. When connecting an antenna to multiple TV sets, even with an amplifier, some TVs in the house would pick up more channels than others. Over the years, tuner sensitivity has definitely gotten better, but there are still some issues with certain brands. The best TV brands in terms of tuner sensitivity include Samsung, LG, and Vizio. On the flip side, the brands with bad tuner sensitivity include Sony, Insignia, Dynex, Toshiba, and TCL. If you own a TV set made by one of these brands, don't immediately assume that your TV is junk. If the signals are picked up strong enough by your antenna, the brand of TV shouldn't matter much. You should only be concerned if one TV set picks up more channels than another, and they are connected to the same exact antenna in the same location. One thing to make clear, if you are connecting one antenna to multiple TV sets using the coax in your house, it's important to use an amplifier, whether that be in the form of a preamp with an unpowered splitter after that, or a powered splitter. If your antenna is directly connected to an unpowered splitter without an amplifier, it will result in some TVs in your house getting less channels depending on the cable length. If you notice one TV in your house gets less channels than another, here's what you do. Bring the bad TV to where the TV set is located that gets more channels. Connect the bad TV to the same coaxial cable that the good TV was on and run a channel scan. If the missing channels come back with the TV set connected at this location, the issue is likely from signal loss due to lack of amplification or bad coaxial cable at the other place in your house. You can find a list of recommended preamplifiers, powered splitters, and coaxial cables linked in the description of the video. Now if the one TV set still gets less channels connected to the same exact cable that the other TV was, then the issue is likely due to bad tuner sensitivity. There are a few solutions if you have a TV with bad tuner sensitivity. The cheapest solution is to purchase the external tuner linked in the description of the video and connect it to a TV with an HDMI cable, sort of work like an external cable box. I actually have to do this at my house for a newer Toshiba Fire TV that actually has bad tuner sensitivity. Yes, new TVs can have bad tuner sensitivity if they are one of the brands I mentioned. Another solution is to just buy a new TV. If you decide to do this, stick with the LG, Samsung, or Vizio brand. The final solution is to use a wireless tuner like a Tableau or HD Home Run. Each of these connect to your antenna, home's internet service, and can work to wirelessly connect multiple TV sets in your home. Click the card in the corner to learn more or follow the link in the description to my video on this topic. Those of you who are considering upgrading your TV set may ask, should it have an ATSC 3.0 tuner built in? I wouldn't worry about that yet. We're still in the very, very, very early stages of this new standard. Most TVs don't have a next-gen tuner built in. The ones that do are pretty expensive. What's ironic is that one of my Patreon supporters actually upgraded his TV to a Sony TV with a next-gen tuner built in, but actually ended up getting less channels with it because Sony TVs don't have the best tuner sensitivity. Right now, there isn't much to gain on the new broadcasts in terms of content and picture quality. An ATSC 3.0 tuner would only be beneficial if you have reception problems on windy days due to tree coverage around your house and can verify that next-gen TV broadcasts are on the air in your area. 
For additional information, check out my video linked in the description or click the card in the corner to learn more. Feel free to leave a comment about an experience you had with a TV that you verified has bad tuner sensitivity. And I'll keep an updated log in the description of the video with brands that are good and brands that are bad. An additional thanks to everyone who supports me on Patreon or is a member of my YouTube channel. If my videos have helped you cut the cord or if you just think they're cool and would like to help support them while gaining exclusive perks, such as behind the scenes content, access to my videos ad free one day early, and direct contact with me, visit patreon.com forward slash antenna man or click the join button in this video and you can also click the thanks button. This is a new feature YouTube just released. If you're on Facebook, you can like my Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash antenna man PA. If you're not on Facebook and would like to receive email updates whenever I post new videos, feel free to sign up to my email list. I attached a link in the description of the video. Stay tuned to my YouTube channel for more cord cutting and antenna related videos and have an awesome day.